So I started taking amphetamine when I was seven years old. I took it up until I was about 23. So I think it's important that before you decide on whether or not you're going to take amphetamines or whether you continue to take amphetamines that you understand kind of what's at stake and if that's a path you want to go. So I won't get too much into my story because there's so much to it and there's so much time to explain all my stories, but I will just explain the rationale and I'll let you all tear me apart in the comments and let me bring this up. No, this is not medical advice. Always trust your medical practitioner. I am not telling you to do anything. I'm telling you why. My story. My testimony. I will not tell you to take your drugs. I will not tell you not to take your drugs. I'm telling you why I don't take Adderall. Or any other amphetamine for that matter. Um, sorry, the brightness. When I took Adderall, I, I could get things done. I would, I would get things done relentlessly. I could non-stop um, create. I would work and I'd work and I'd work and I'd have new ideas and I'd sit there for hours and hours and hours on end and I'd complete these ideas. The problems came in terms of I wasn't eating enough, I wasn't sleeping enough, and I, I had um, what I felt like were blockages in my capability for empathy. I felt like I could hear somebody speak and understand their emotions and then I would use my mind, my logic, and my rationale to create something in a response that would evoke um, camaraderie or likability rather than actually just um, the intuition that you feel in a communication when you just can trust a person. I was very tactile. I, uh, in that time, dating was very difficult. I, I was really annoying. Uh, in terms of that, because I would always just poke out things that were, um, you know, someone would say something and I would often start sentences with the word actually, and I was a smartass. And of course, it's not 100% the pill. I'm also a smartass. But the pill would um, bring more of it out, and I just thought this couldn't go on anymore, and, I, and it became completely dependent on Adderall for any kind of... Um, any work. And what happened, the reason I stopped, was I no longer had access to it, uh, following through with my doctor, and I just couldn't get a prescription. I tried, and it just wasn't working. And um, I won't go into too much detail, but I lost, I lost my, my source, and I still wanted it. I never wanted to stop Adderall while I was taking Adderall, because it became such a huge part of my identity. I couldn't say goodbye. And I didn't know who I was without Adderall because I had spent 15, 16 years more or less defining myself by what I was capable on using Adderall. And when you take a pill from childhood to adulthood and that pill dictates who you are and what you're capable of and without it you don't know how to sit quietly and finish a thing, you know, it's, it seems impossible. So. For anyone who's doing that and you want to, I just allow me to describe my withdrawal process. And I'm sure this video you're saying, wow, this guy is ADD. Maybe, maybe, but I, I don't, um, <sighs> I don't take Adderall anymore. And I'm going to continue to articulate myself until my story is completely true. And if this isn't perfect, um, it's okay because I'm going to continue to do this and people out there are going to continue to criticize this and we'll have um, a dialogue. I really want to just have a dialogue about this. So I no longer had Adderall and I was forced to have to work and do things and I, and I, it's like the world that Adderall created with me, the, my life, my money, my job, my hobbies, my work, my ethics, my lifestyle, my diet, everything had been kind of rearranged by my Adderall use. I would, I was working four jobs, um, I was doing amazing art, it was very involved bookbinding, I was um, riding my bicycle everywhere, I was eating very little, um, a lot of times I would binge eat when Adderall wore off, and I 
and I and I stopped. When I stopped taking Adderall, um, everything kind of came to a stop. And f the first few weeks, I was really depressed chemically. You know, I knew nothing in my life was making me sad except for the chemical imbalance of having a drug that increases dopamine and serotonin, and then having that drug removed from your life creates um, a deficit of serotonin and dopamine. So in that time period, I would have like suicidal thoughts that just pop up. I would just think these suicidal thoughts and then move on with my day. And I knew that it was the withdrawal. It was really important for me to recognize that the feelings and attitudes I had during my Adderall withdrawal was not my personality. That the feelings and attitudes that I was harboring when I was with, withdrawing from Adderall was chemical because I had been doing something and I was paying for that. I was taking a shortcut and I think when, you, when I take a shortcut you, you, something is sacrificed. You know, if you cook your food in the microwave, it's cooked faster, but you can't get crispy food and there's some question as to whether you're radiating your food. That's not what this video is about. And so, it took me months to feel good at all. I, I, I went to marijuana and I smoked a lot of marijuana just to try to make me feel okay, just to something to take me. I, I took herbs, I took all this stuff. I was really having a hard time with, with Adderall and it wasn't until I had some, uh, some really special experiences and I found a place to be devoted to and that was um, I started doing martial arts to give myself focus and discipline and I, I lost the imposter syndrome I had on Adderall that made me feel like I couldn't do anything you know, I would do magical things with art and sculpture and video and music and I wouldn't feel like I could take full credit for it because I did it on Adderall. So when I got off Adderall and I would create anything, I felt really good about it because I knew that it was coming from myself. And I know it's seen, it's, it, the general consensus is that you have ADD, you have a disease. And you know that introducing an amphetamine you know, doesn't, I mean, how to put this, I might have a brain thing going on and I don't know where ADD begins and where my amphetamine addiction ends and where they meet and how they interact because I've been taking amphetamine since I was seven. So for me to just um, admit that, yeah, ADD is real and I have it, but perhaps that Adderall isn't the best solution for me because it creates a lifestyle that's not sustainable and um, it hurts my sleep cycles, it hurts my food cycles and it makes it hard for me to be in love. So I, I had to leave it behind and I had to come to terms ultimately with the fact that I'll never be able to focus and to work like I did on Adderall. There's dietary ways and exercising and meditation, yoga, and these kinds of things help me be my best self in terms of my ability to focus and my ability to work and my ability to be grounded in the world. And of course it doesn't bring me to that high level that Adderall does, but at the end of the day I can eat a meal and go to sleep and I can take the time to be sincere and I felt that on Adderall I couldn't do those things. So I know that everyone has a different body, everyone has a different mind, everyone has a different approach, and everyone has a different set of tools. But I'm just putting this video out there so if anyone is considering taking Adderall for the first time, or if anyone's considering departing from an Adderall habit, just know that it's really difficult and you shouldn't do it the way I did it. If you want to Quit Adderall, you should talk to your doctor about stepping down your dosages and being gentle with your departure. And keep in mind that you are not your withdrawal. That for me, it took about a year to two years until I felt like I was fully in my body and in my mind again. And that it, it's still hard work. And I still succumb to being distracted, but I'm kind of grateful for the natural truth that I live.
and not everyone really cares about that, but it's important to me that what I'm doing um, comes from myself and the earth and things that are around and that my life isn't generating gross amounts of income for a pharmaceutical company and that my identity isn't hinged on taking a pill. Some people are cool with that, but I'm, I get paranoid and I can't do it and I just feel happier off Adderall. So, I'm gonna keep telling stories. Um, it's a very long story, it's a very detailed story, but I think it's an important story to tell because there are mothers out there and there are teachers out there and there are child psychiatrists out there and they're continuing to, to give amphetamine to kids under the name Adderall, Concerta Vivance, and all that world. And while it's, um, it's a really cool, fun drug, I guess, um, I think it's important that we understand that it's dangerous and also that it's incredibly addictive. The um, Quitting Adderall was the hardest thing I ever had to do. So if anyone out there is doing it, you know, I give you more power, more strength, do your thing, and um, I hope that you, you succeed in your adventure. And that, uh, yeah, you do that. So I, I'm, I'm new to this, this YouTube format, and I'm gonna try to get deeper in it and be a little more specific. The scattered mind, the, I have the ADD scatter brain, and I, I uh, embrace my ADD because that's who I really am. And I'm gonna keep doing so, and I will um, try to make the brave leap for me of sharing my experiences and sharing my, my life and what I've learned and allow all the people that I know are at the other end of their computer, their phone, their tablet, their this, their that, to communicate. And hopefully we can have a dialogue about this and I can learn about times when Adderall works for you, feel free to comment and tell me a time when Adderall worked for you and feel free to comment and tell me a time that Adderall didn't work for you. Because I certainly know that when I was still taking Adderall, I would have um, gnashed my teeth at you in my defense of using Adderall and told you how I needed it, told you how it was an unnatural substance for an unnatural world. And now that I'm completely departed from it, I know that those are bargaining techniques. So if anyone wants to communicate that, let me know.